In today's video, we're going to take these tiny little sprouted potatoes of various types and attempt to grow them in a small DIY aeroponics unit. In last week's video, I did this with some carrots and they're progressing really nicely, but today I've got some very small little sprouted potatoes that I'm gonna attempt to grow in this tiny little DIY super cheap aeroponics container. So what we're gonna do what we did last time, let's just get this one cleaned up and get that fitting in that hole at the bottom there. Now it's all clean, we can plug that gap and make sure no water comes out. And these little net pots are too small even for these tiny little potatoes. So what I'm gonna do is print some larger ones. Ideally, they should be three or four times this size, but this is what I'm gonna be working with today. So I'm gonna try this Elegoo Rapid Pet G uh, in black. Nice, easy to use. It kind of runs at PLA speeds, but it's Pet G. It's not really as hard as normal Pet G, but it will do the job. So let's unpack this. This was the last of these reptile misting kits that I had on the shelf. So why not use it for something a bit fun? This is what comes in a kit. Just trying to decide where to put the nozzle. There's two, so that's what we're gonna use. And I think what I'll probably do is put one nozzle on each side and direct one over to the right and then one over to the left so we get some decent coverage. We're going to use the hose that came with this kit and just getting it all linked up now. I don't really want to drill any more holes in the lid, so we've got six spots plus one random small one. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to grow, attempt to grow six small little potato plants. And once it's all together, we can, you know, I will print a mount for that as well, like I did for the carrot unit. And let's get some water in there. We want to make sure there's no leaks coming out of that bottom tank fitting and make sure that the nozzles actually do work. Everything working really nicely, so we can put the lid back on and to get everything finalized before we get our potatoes in there. That pickup pipe is too light to still, so I'm gonna put some stainless steel clips on the bottom of it just to keep them down in the water. Now that the new net pots are printed, they're much, much deeper, wider as well, and they still go in these holes, let's get all of these potatoes in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block the top with some grow sponge. You can use any foam or sponge that you have available, just tuck it in there because we want to try and stop any excess light getting into the tops of those potatoes. We just want that sprout to come out above the surface there. That's what's going to be important here. So with all of those mounted, we can just check that everything's working and it is and the timer's working, battery's charged. Let's see how we get on with this kit. Nice little sprouts coming out there. I don't even know what varieties of potatoes are in here. So it'll be really interesting over the next four or five weeks just to see how these grow. Make sure to like and subscribe and we can see how they're doing down the line.